All right, so we have officially sat down here in Strongwater Tavern. This is where we had drinks at yesterday. So the menu is really basically the same here. But uh, here is our food menu. So uh, our server last night told us that uh, it's all small plates, but basically two plates uh, is kind of like a meal. We'll fill one person up. So I'm not sure what we're gonna get. We're gonna try a couple of different things here. Black Angus beef sliders sound good. I was hoping we were gonna like share. Fried buttermilk chicken tenders, a cheese board, beef empanadas. Beef empanadas sounds good. Yeah, this looks like a, a pretty good place. So yesterday we sat uh, like right over here, but you can actually see the rain today is just about to move in. That's, that's lightning and the rain kicking everybody out of the pool. And it was perfect timing for us to be able to come over and eat dinner. Oh, you're okay, you're good. So our server just came and took our order and we got drinks Drink to start order. and we got the same thing that we got yesterday. So yeah, nothing <laughs> new to show for this. We have a problem with uh, change. <laughs> That's why we have to eat at like a bunch of different restaurants and we can't go back to the same places because when we go back to the same place, we get what we got the last time because we liked it so much and we don't want to risk trying something else. So uh, not that the cocktails wouldn't be good, but we liked them so much, we don't want to get something else. <laughs> All right, so our food has officially arrived. So again, uh, Strongwater Tavern here is a restaurant that features tapas, which means tapas small plates. So everything here, I think, ranges from about twelve to like twenty-five bucks. This was not on the, 10. not on the table. Um, we didn't get the most expensive thing on the menu, but, yeah. Um, but yeah. So we've got octopus, which is what Taylor really wanted. Beef empanadas. These are buttermilk fried uh, chicken tenders. I'm surprised that we got three. I thought we'd only get two. And it comes with, I'm assuming those are potatoes. Those are huge yeah. potato wedges. And then Taylor really wanted to get these uh, pork belly pork tacos. Belly. So they do look really good. Um, so we're gonna try and eat everything. And then if we want something else, cause it does look like there's some other good stuff on the menu, we'll get the other stuff on the menu as well. These might be like one of the best tacos I've ever had. Flavors are like on point. Such a great combination with everything that's in here. The uh, pork cut, the pork belly. Uh, I'm always afraid it's gonna be like overcooked or really chewy. Is there tomato in there? And it is extremely tender. It is so great. The sauce that goes over it with the cheese, OMG, it is absolutely amazing. Ooh, it cuts so tender. How's it? Pretty good? Yes. So there's some unique flavors with this octopus that I don't think I've ever had with octopus before. However, the octopus is so tender. I barely had to use my knife to cut it, which I feel like that is something that happens with octopus and some other seafood is that it is it, it can be tough or, you know, it's just overcooked, but this is perfect. I'm trying to get a little bite of everything. It is cooked exceptionally well. I mean, like, I, it is one of like the most tender pieces of octopus I think I've ever had. Like, it's not chewy. Do you eat octopus often? No, but I mean, like the few times we've had it. Like, I've had it before when it's like overdone, and it's Me too. not. It's not good to eat. But this is uh, this is quite good. I don't even like if if they brought it out and they took the top off, like the suckers off, and you ate it, you might, you might think it was even... you might think it was chicken. Yeah, you might not even know. Oh, that's good. That's hot sauce and ketchup. So, little shout out to our friend Chris, who can't seem to go to dinner without having chicken fingers and french fries anywhere he goes. So I wanted to try the chicken tenders here. Um, we've got ketchup and we have hot sauce. And the sauce looks really good, so I'm going to try that first. Looks like a really good homemade buffalo sauce. All the flavor almost no heat so fantastic really like that i'm not even going to bother with ketchup because i don't really care for ketchup with my chicken tenders but really good so dessert has arrived and uh taylor ran to the bathroom real quick our server came over and said that if she didn't show up she was, gonna, was gonna melt she was gonna eat this dessert with me instead 
Did she say that? That is what she said. <laughs> so what she did you get? She did recommend this dessert. This is a churro bowl. So it's basically churros in the shape of a bowl. Looks like a donut, actually. It might be like, um, it's probably the dough that they used to make a churro, but then just made it in this shape. And then it's Dolce de Leche ice cream. And then I also got a cocktail. Espresso martini. It's it essentially like. an espresso martini, but there's chocolate liqueur in there as well. Wait, what is it? Huh? What'd you get? An espresso martini. Is it an espresso martini or did you get a Ness espresso martini? An space espresso. It sounded like you were getting a name branded uh, martini there. Josh. I probably won't eat any of this because I don't really Why? care for churros or the coffee looking tasting ice cream. Dolce de Leche. Dolce it looks de Leche like it's coffee flavored. Coffee. I know. It looks like it's coffee flavored though. So go ahead, dive in here. Go for it. It's, it's gonna a be a crunchy. big. It's gonna be a big bite. Oh my gosh, it's warm too. This is a really good dessert. I actually really like Dolce de Leche ice cream on its own. Uh, but with the churro, it's really nice because there's that, you know, the crunch from the churro itself and then the cinnamon flavor that's in there. This is all around a great dessert. Mm. And it really fits the theme of like the overall menu here. And I like to get something that's a little unique. Where do you just go and order churros on the menu? It just, it. So we're still at dinner because Taylor has yet to finish her espresso, I'm sorry, her Nespresso no, martini. No, it's not. I never said that. Still hasn't finished it yet. Okay, I'm struggling because normally... We're, we're not on a cruise ship. Normally, I drink these on a cruise ship, and I can take it with me to go after dinner. Can't, though. Here, I can't take it to go. Nope. So, Josh has had to endure sitting here with me while I sip on my espresso martini.